Hello everybody, Arch Fatality here bringing you yet another character guide. Today we're going to be talking about our most controversial character, Roxanne Richard. Now, my friends, I have a lot to say about this character. She was made to be an annoying little brat. Like, seriously, she was made to just pressure the hell out of you, get in and out real quickly. So, <laughs> the people on the Discord have been having way too much fun with her. So expect a giant nerf. <laughs> but aside from that, yeah, like I said, Roxy's supposed to be pressuring the shit out of you. She has amazing combo potential. She's probably the only character in the game that has a legit air combo, which I'll show you off later. And her strikers can be really quick and unforgiving and very surprising too. So, first I want to talk about her light attacks. Crouching, a quick little poke. Her standing light. Her standing light is slow, but trust me, you want to go for this because this is going to get you your best combos. And then her jumping light, which leads to the air combo, which I'll show off in a moment. Uh, heavy, quick little sweep, uh, freaking quick slash, and a spike. But she is very punishable on whiff. If she whiffs this, you're dead. So don't just throw this out here. Anyway, I want to talk about her throw too because some people kept getting this confused with a special move. Yeah, that's just a throw, guys. That is just a throw, so... <laughs> Yeah, don't don't get too crazy for her. And as for her special moves, she has her chain sword, the teleport, which can be done in the air. It's best used during a back dash for a really mean mix up. Yeah, you see how fast you can do that mess? Oh, I'm I'm, I'm messing up now. YouTube curse starting out there. It is, and then the invisibility. The invisibility is probably her best defensive move. Not just because you can partially see her and all that stuff, but you well I'll show off of it. I'll show it off right now. <laughs> oh, damn it. It's so hard to do this in one hand, y'all. She gains invincibility during the starting frames. So if you're getting pressure with Roxy, try to pop your invincib uh, your invisibility real fast. And it'll and it'll whiff you and you can punish. Now, let's talk about our strikers real quick before I go on to the EX moves. Like I said, our strikers are really quick. That's a basic one that starts off from back of the screen. That leads to air combos. That's your best air combo starter. Probably the only one. You have Boonta, which is her second striker. And yes, that does OTG. If I can time it. There it is. <laughs> so yes, that does OTG. If you get a hard knockdown on somebody, don't be afraid to do that. Oh, I suck. <laughs> but y'all get the gist. And then she has another striker, which is Bunta again, but this time instead of appearing from the sky, she appears right behind the opponent and sends her right to you. Well, sends them right to you. And yeah, you can tear them up. You do that by holding down and pressing your striker button. Yeah, some characters, like I said in the, when I first revealed, the, sorry, in the Q&A, that some characters can summon more than two strikers. And uh, there should be a command. If not, then I'll definitely update it on the Discord server. But yeah, if you hold down and press the striker button for some characters, they'll summon either a different striker or the same striker. So just experiment with the controls, you know. Let's talk about her EX attacks right now. I got somebody on the uh, Discord who thinks this is her best EX move. Yes, it is a great combo extender and all that stuff. And you can keep doing it and everything. Because, like I said, this is version 0 0.9 still. So, she's going to take mean damage until the uh, big fix comes out. Uh, I would have did it now, but we didn't want to just update it character by character. Like, we're trying to really keep this game balanced. Uh, at least I am. Ryan thought about doing it character by character, but I'm like, no. 
once we release the big update, everyone's gonna get an update. Because right now, this is the vanilla version. Roxy's probably, probably the strongest or second strongest. Not in my opinion, though. To the community, she is. But yes, this is a very great combo extender. So you can do your light combo and then do it back. So yeah, you can do some mean stuff with her. Uh, she actually had an infinite too that one of my Discord members showed me. I patched it out already, but let's see if he can discover some more bullshit. And while he does that, we're going to talk about some more EX moves. So here's our EX teleport. That's, I'm going to tell you right now, is going to be a mean ass buff. I do plan on reworking that just a tad bit. And trust me, you got your all the Roxy people are going to love this. <laughs> but yes, so that's our EX teleport, supposed to mix people up. And then the EX, there's a special EX invisibility that no one does or talks about for some reason. This is how I know the people that's playing her aren't using her to her fullest. Her EX, uh, I'm sorry, her EX invisibility, it actually hits people. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but it also it's a combo extender, and it still keeps you from harm's way. So if stuff coming your way, you can just freaking um, pop that, and it'll still grant you the invincibility frame. But this time, it's pretty much like a get off me move. And if they don't, they're going to die. <laughs> so you'll do a combo like this. Oops, sorry. Damn, I dropped it. Oh, I dropped it again. I'm sucking. Yeah, you'll do stuff like that. I dropped it, but yeah. And speaking of her combos, the reason I'm dropping, because Roxy has a secret. No one has yet to discover her secret to hit combo. And I will post this in their character guides. And once the big update comes up, because we're going to update everyone's move list, we found out that uh, the engine took like some of our old coding and didn't properly say it. Whereas, let me see if I can show off some stuff. Like it's missing uh, some attacks. It doesn't show. Uh, it doesn't show her um, her combos like it's supposed to. It shows her desperation move, which she uh, which was broken as shit. We had to hot fix that. But <laughs> I'll show you guys what that does too. Same with her substitution jutsu. That shit's still kind of busted. But that's not on her actually. That's something else. So. Before I continue about her substitutions, I want to keep talking about her offensive stuff. So her to hit combo as follows. Freaking, you're gonna do. I did it too slow because they could have blocked it, but that's her to hit combo. So you're gonna do four lights, three heavies, two uh oh, no, 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 four lights. Yeah, I messed up. So yeah, it's four lights, three heavies, two lights, one heavy. And you get a to hit combo. If you do it perfectly, well perfectly you can get some mean damage. This is where her mean damage comes in. Oh, I'm messing up. Damn it. Alright, one last try, shit. <laughs> I dropped it again, but y'all get the picture. <laughs> y'all get the picture. You gotta be precise with her. She's a ninja after all. I'm sorry, a half ninja. But yeah, she's definitely based on, you know, precise button presses because like I said, she had an infinite, it's gone now, and P2 can recover from combo. So if you think you're just gonna try to mash and do the combo on her, you'll die. No, and that's the substitution. I didn't even mean to do that. So her substitution jutsu works like it does in Naruto games. See, if she takes the normal hits, she can poof out of it. So what's supposed to happen is just only normal hits. And it costs a bar to do it, so don't go around wasting it and all that stuff. However, there is some instances that have been reported in the Discord where she can do it out of special moves and all that stuff. I don't mind her doing it out of some specials, but like cinematic stuff, 
Yeah, she's not supposed to do that, so. Uh, we just gotta make sure it works on every character, but as of now, it's it's pretty cool. But, because I know there's a lot of Roxy players, the moment they get hit, they fall back and use that move. But yeah, like I said, Roxy's designed to just be annoying as fuck. Just pressure the shit out of her opponent. This is why this move, this combo doesn't knock down. It just slightly backs them up in case you need some breathing room. And if you do need breathing room, like if they block it. Now let me see if I can do this. Pretty much if they block it, you're going to try to pop your invisibility or your EX teleport to get out of harm's way. This thing does have some pretty good uh, uh, pushback. So, oh, that's a fix that we need to do. So it does still have mean pushback, though, if you need people to get off of you. So don't be afraid to finish the combo. So let's talk about her super setups real quick. So her super, uh, full move slash, whoop, this is damn near, it's not necessarily a full screen, but it's damn near a full screen. It goes somewhat, like, kind of, it goes kind of far. Yeah, see, it's not full screen, it just goes really far. That move combo, this just got discovered too. If I would have posted this video yesterday or the day before, people would have lost their shit. But this tech just got discovered because Roxy can do shit like this. Oh, I dropped it. One more time. <laughs> Damn, I'm sucking. Seriously. Alright, last time. I'm trying to do my combo with it, but fuck it. I'll just show you guys. <laughs> I did say last time. Yes, Roxy's pretty busted. Don't worry, y'all. That damage, of course, will be Ultra Omega Nerf! Damn. <laughs> The reason that damage is happening is because she's in a custom state and the custom state isn't reading the damage dampener. But yeah, that's, this is why I say Roxy is probably the strongest in the vanilla version right now. And uh, yeah, she's a problem. She touches you and you know how to combo with her. Yeah, you're, you're, you're probably going to kill your opponent. <laughs> Oh, I am sucking right now. Oh, well, fuck it. But anywho, uh, shy. So anywho, let's talk about her level two real quick. She's some of your classmates. And yeah, she does recover fast enough to at least get one last cheeky hit in. And if you're quick enough, I'm gonna answer y'all questions right now. Yes, you can leak level one, if you're quick enough. And you got the right distance, of course. There we go, even though uh, the combo was dropped. But anyway, that's her level two. Now her level three is my personal favorite because a lot of people think her level one is her best thing. And yes, it is good to check people from a good distance and you can combo from it. But her level three is, is, is really nice to be because if it's blocked, it has a mean pushback and it's a great anti-air for people. And she has invincibility on startup. So yeah, if somebody's trying to pressure the hell out of you, well, let me just try to do a hard knockdown. Like I said, it's hard to do a one hand, y'all. But yeah, that's her level three. And yes, she can combo juggle opponents with it. Uh, uh, juggled opponents. Like I said, it's best used to me, in my opinion, as a uh, anti-air and stuff because comboing from it is best used in the corner which you'll probably see at the end of the video because I usually, I'll admit, I usually spend my meter on level 1 or EX attacks to keep this shit going oh my god I am sucking right now let's see if I can go for the 10 hitter I wasn't trying to go to full to here. I was trying to do nine hits. <laughs> I 
Yeah, she could have blocked that. There we go. And if I would have fucking did the other one, shit, I could have killed her. Yeah, I practice TODs. They're my characters. Leave me alone. <laughs> but anywho, that's pretty much Roxanne. Like I said, she's designed to just be a maniac and just go all over the place and then mix people up with jump in. So this is one of the tricks I like to do on people. Just jump over them or as soon as you get over their head, just teleport. And then another thing I like to do with people, if you if they're trying to run away from you, just call Boonta to come get them. Or you can call your little cheeky rollerblading girl. Oh, I suck. I hate when I drop that. But yeah, uh, that's about it, y'all. I'm sorry if I seemed a little too quick or if I'm too long and talking too much about her. I have to get up at work in the morning. This is probably the only time I can record. But yeah, like I said, Roxanne, right now in the vanilla version, to all you Roxy mains, yeah, I hope y'all having fun, dude. Because uh, when the first big patch comes out, I can't wait to see what y'all can do. Because she's going to stay strong. I'm not freaking going to destroy her. But that damage has to freaking go. <laughs> like, come on now, man. But yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. i see you on the next one. Uh, the next character I'm going to be talking about, I'll reveal right now, is Scott. Because somebody in my uh, Discord server, they really keep... They won't shut up about Scott. They're truly a Scottaholic. And nobody even talks about Scott too, too much. So Scott will be the next character to be updated. I mean, talked about, like, the guy. Alright, shit, I'll shut up now. Let's watch some awesome combos.